Hello, hi, welcome. It's day Oyabumi. How are you today? I hope you're well. So I wanted to come today and do a summer tarot check-in. So this is just for the summer, just for the months. Um, well, starting June 21st here in the Northeast, in the Northern Hemisphere, um, through to about August, okay? So we're gonna check in and see what's going on. First, before I move forward, I want to encourage you. Oh, first, excuse any background noise, okay? So the birds are gonna chime in, there's kids playing and all of that. So please excuse anything you hear in the background. If you are interested in your own personal tower reading and EFI reading, I'm sorry, y'all. A cat bird just came and landed and it's going to proceed to sing right now. And I was here this whole time. Oh, there. oh okay. He's leaving. So if you are interested in your own personal tower reading and Ifa reading, if you want to know who your head Arisha is, if you want some Ifa Arisha related books, um, ebooks, classes, things like that, I got that all on my website. Okay, great. So let's just get on into it. Everything you need is in the description box. I am using a few different decks today. The African-American Tarot, Words from Arun deck. Um, that's an oracle deck. Moonology and Angels and Ancestors. Okay. Awesome. So let's see what I have here. Foundations are going to be important. Um, something about foundations. I see four, you know, a couple of different fours here. So I'm going to take that as an important um, message about stabilizing your foundation. So if your foundation has been shaky, if things have been uncertain and you haven't been sure of yourself or what to do, where to go, this time is going to really give you what you need to set a firm foundation for yourself. Okay. Those of you who have been struggling, right, um, in your families, at home, just in different ways, you're going to start to see relief. Things are going to just be so much easier for you. Um, and I say that because I have the Four of Wands and the Temperance card here. So there's definitely a balance um, that's coming, like a refreshing energy coming to the home. Some of you are going to be moving into new homes. And I think that by the end of June, those of you who are struggling with getting a home or finding a home, it's going to begin to get easier for you to do so. There's great wealth available to us all. There's something this year, I feel like it's like a portal of wealth being open. I know one, one deck call, calls it like the door to value. There's something about an opening up of the ability for us to gain great wealth. Um, so we have to like tap into that energy. So if you're a creative person, um, you know, you need to create. If you are, and let me show you why I'm saying that. We have the king of pentacles here that can represent a person but I do see it as just like an energy um, if you've had a business idea if there's something you've been thinking about but you've been putting it off um, if you've been afraid that it's going to fail wait until after the end of mercury retrograde and move forward once again the end of June is a great time to get moving on things where you've been holding back some of you are being encouraged to move in a new direction. Some of you are being encouraged to step outside your comfort zone, to go on trips, to travel. That's something that I started doing the beginning of 2021. And it's been awesome like to get out and to see how everyone else is living and how free they are and how happy they are, you know, leaving the tri-state area and the northeast area, you know, and leaving like the bondage here, the sense of bondage and going and seeing how other people are are living um, and how free they were was really helpful for me and very inspiring. So now that things are open, um, travel is very important, okay? 
And when I was meditating on this reading, I heard the word clearly open. So anticipate that things are going to open up. Um, and this means those places in your life that have been blocked and um, where there has been bondage. I see some of you still being very careful and guarded. Um, you're not really sure what's going on. You're on the lookout for something, right? So some of you, even though everything is open, you might just be like, look, the um, I don't know, this virus might still be out here. I have to be careful and things like that. And so you're being careful. Some of you are guarding against sickness. If you see up in the corner here, um, there's a woman taking care of someone who's sick. Um, some of you are guarding against illness, but just know that we're entering a new time. So the amount of people getting sick is going to continue to go down. Okay. So in addition to this movement forward, right, things opening up and us working to solidify our foundations and being able to move forward in areas where we couldn't move forward before, there's this sense of healing. So from the Moonology deck, we have Balsamic Moon and Waning uh, Moon, and one says a time for healing and what do you need to release? So there's something, um, and honestly, I can see this being in relation to the fact that some of us have lost loved ones as a result of this pandemic, lost money, jobs, um, have gone crazy being in the house, have, you know, seen our relationships severed because we've had to spend so much time together. So this is your time for, remember I said relief, really check in with yourself instead of just running back out you know, getting back out there, really check in with yourself and make sure that you're not holding trauma from this period. It's something that you need to let go of, right? So even this card, when I see this, this nine of wands, and I see that he's like um, in this mode of self-protection, right? I got to I have to look at myself there. I have to protect myself. It's like, what do you need to release in this moment? What do you need to just say, okay, um, I'm going to trust the universe and trust that this is a new time and everything will be okay, right? So in order to gain the relief I'm talking about, some of you have to let go of something that's going to be on you, right? Because you can hold on. You can hold on to your fears, um, and things like that. Or you can say, okay, um, you know, I'm ready to move forward and I'm ready to let things go. If you guys are in Ifa Arisha tradition, you know, it's so simple. You can just go for a reading to see if it's safe for you to venture out. You know, if people are thinking about taking a vaccine, I suggest the same thing. Do a reading. Make sure that whatever vaccine you're taking is going to work with your constitution because it's not going to work with everyone's. Like some people will have adverse reactions and some people will be fine. I really truly believe that. There's something about clarity. It's like now that you can move forward, any plans that you put into place, it's very important that you are clear, right? Clear about your vision clear about what you want to do. There may be someone who's giving you advice, maybe an elder. Um, she could be an air sign. That's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But And you see here, you might be seeking out some type of help from an elder, some of you. But there's something about being very clear in your vision in order to bring it forward. So, you know, you were stuck. You couldn't move for a while. Maybe your plans got thrown off, but now you're back. So what's your plan? The words of a rune card is plan and have a strategy. So this is something that's important for your, for your life right now, for you to plan and have a strategy on how you're going to move forward. There's also this call for very um, clear communication, but honest communication. 
and doing so in a compassionate way, sharing information in a very compassionate way, but being very clear as well. Some of you are too defensive. You're too afraid to step outside your comfort zone and you're being encouraged to release that. Um, some of you have phobias I see about going out. And I can see why that would be the case. But you're being encouraged to release that. It's time for balance to come back into some of your relationships. So if some of your relationships were damaged, you know, if you haven't talked to someone in a while and you guys had a, a relatively good relationship and it just kind of went to shit because of everything that was happening or because everybody was so stressed out, reach out to those people in love. Um, Try new things, guys. I know I keep saying that it's time to step outside the box, but a lot of us, um, I feel like this spiritual push for us to try new things, like really do something different. You know, if you haven't been camping, you don't typically go out into nature, go into nature, you know, be careful of ticks and things like that, but just go on, down a, a walking path or a trail, take a trip, um, drive somewhere. There's something about shaking it up that's going to really be helpful for you, for all of us at this time. We have the don't be in denial card. Oh, wow. And confirmation with the, the horns. Someone here or some of us, and I include myself, are in denial about something. Um, maybe in terms of living situations or travel plans there's something that we're blocking again this this energy comes up right but i'm hearing that things are opening open and so if things are opening we can kind of drop our guards and go in a new direction so what are you in denial about let's see before i close what do we need to know about this? Don't be in denial card. Don't be in denial about what? Be prepared to move, to do things different, to shake things up. And if you don't do it, then the universe will. And that's for, for all of us, right? That's what happens when there's too much stagnation. That's the energy of my Orisha Oya. Don't be in denial about finances either. Some of you are going to be um, feeling like you need to invest in something or you need to, to build something or you need to do something right away and you don't. You need to be patient. Some of you are going to be in denial about how much money you can get um, in a certain amount of time. Try to avoid any type of get rich quick schemes, anything under the table. Because in my yearly uh, tower reading, I saw that people would be trying to do things underhanded and that it wouldn't be like it's not going to fly. Somebody's going to find out. And last card for advice for us for the summer months. This looks really good, guys. Got to say, you know, summer looking pretty good. Advice, advice, advice. Ooh. The sun, get out and play, get out and have fun, you know, enjoy time with children, tap into your own inner child, play, play, play. We've been stuck too long. See, the sun is, is smiling, is shining down on, the, on us. Our spirit guides, our consciousnesses are encouraging us to just be free, to lighten up, to loosen up. They don't want to see us. Um, in self-imposed bondage they don't want to see us in any type of bondage they want to see us thrive we didn't come here to just work go to work and go to places we hate right and and deal with people we don't like and be miserable we did not come here for that 
this is a great space for experimenting and for trying different things and and um, playing with different things that catch your interest. Get out, get some vitamin D, right? Have some fun, play, play, play. Um, and also let's be balanced, as balanced as possible. Um, balanced mentally and emotionally. Make sure your temperament is balanced. You wanna be clear, concise in your communication. Plan and have a strategy, especially for those who have big goals. They're not going to just come, you know, come out of nowhere. Sometimes you have to really have a vision and think about how to reach that vision. Some of us need to avoid being in denial about a living situation, a house situation, or something having to do with money. Uh, work on building firm foundations because those are going to bring great joy. It's okay to be a little weary, but drop your guard because it's really um, blocking you. It's a time for healing and release all of the heavy stagnant energy you've kind of carried along in this period of um, sequestering, you know, when they were like, oh, you can't move and you can't do this. That built up a an energy around us, right, of stagnation and it's time to move. And trust that you are well taken care of. And if you guys have any plans for starting a business or anything like that, this is the time. Like it's going to be time to move forward by the end of the month. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. You can get your own personal reading on my website. Okay, great. You guys take care. Bye.